So right now it's a common agenda, common goals. There is um, to end poverty, to fight extreme poverty. Um, you have goals to fight hunger, to, for, to improve uh, on energy, on right. sustainable energy. So you have different goals. But nobody said, how are they going to pay for these goals? How, how are they going to achieve these goals? And, uh, and innovative financing for development is, is one of the ways. For example, you have many countries. If, you look, if we're looking at the, the concept of unlocking the diaspora flows, so you have, in that, you have, besides the telephone call surcharge, you have the remittance. The remittance, you have two sorts of, of ways to, to, uh, to use the remittance for development. One certainly contributes to, um, you know, it's, a, it's an important impact on the GDP of the country. But parallel to this, it, you can, uh, many countries such as Israel and India, they've uh, put forth a diaspora bond where the government issues, issues a bond. And this is an example of international cooperation besides the handout given to the countries, besides the funds given um, to, you know, to finance you know, education or whatever. But this is a sustainable way of, of really partnering with a country. And what, and, and what I'm talking about is, is the diaspora bonds. So in the case of Israel, in the case of, of India, they've issued the, uh, bonds to their to the Israeli citizens living abroad, and they are giving them a, a pretty decent return on the bond, and for infrastructure development. So they, they issued the a bond, and so far, we, they've been able to raise about $25 billion in Israel wow. just from the, diaspora, the Israeli diaspora bond. And in India, they've been able to raise $11 billion. And this goes. This is a targeted uh, development goal to build you know, infrastructure in the country. So many people can follow suit um, and, and certainly you know, work, see what Israel has done, see what India has done, and then replicate it. Now, for example, what, what does a donor country can do to help such initiatives? Because we understand that development aid is not going to be indefinite. I'm sure the, the USAID does not want to keep Haiti on a $3 billion um, grant indefinitely. <laughs> Donors want the country to fly with their own wings and to do better. And so do we, because nobody likes handouts. Right. So, so this is, uh, you know, diaspora bonds is, is the second uh, innovative financing that works, that makes, that has a huge impact, and that shows you know, visible and tangible results in the country. Permission, let me...